Welcome back to our channel where we shine a spotlight on visiting Ireland today. You are very welcome. Here are the definitive do's and do nots that will smooth your vacation trip and make it more enjoyable. Remember, it's the simple things that catch you out. This is our second up-to-date must-know video. The good news is there are 2,850 more hotel rooms across Ireland for 2025, so more locations to stay and potentially cheaper rates too. But tip number one, book your hotel in advance. The days of winging it are gone. This applies particularly if big name acts are performing or there is a major GAA or football game in the capital. Tip number two, leaving Dublin airport and waiting for a taxi keep a warm coat handy. The taxi rank is covered but exposed so wind chill early in the year and winter will be an issue. Thirdly, taxis are the most expensive way to get from the airport to your city center hotel. Try Aircoach or the Dublin bus airport shuttle and you will find these much cheaper, particularly Dublin bus allow about an hour depending on time of day. If you are hiring a car, the airport has a number of car hire companies available close to the terminal. By the way, we hope you are enjoying and getting the information to visit Ireland that you wanted. Please share, like, and follow, and leave any comments and questions that you might have. Thank you. We have ourselves and two very hungry cats to feed. Fourthly, if you arrive off the red eye in the early hours, you can get the full Irish breakfast in some eateries. O'Shea's Merchant Bridge Street is a good one. By the way, if you are visiting from America and consider tipping in a restaurant, the culture is totally different. Our waiting staff are paid a wage and instead of making up their wage, our tips are more to thank for good service. Tipping percentage is usually around five to 10%. Five, if you have hired a car and feel unsure about driving, don't panic. Driving on the left is easier than you think. Dublin is not easy to navigate, so you will need a good person in the shotgun seat. Google Maps are quite good, but occasionally, as recently, it was slow to update the Dublin city road changes. We have toll roads, so be prepared to pay cash in euros, unless your car hire company has this set up automatically. There are no toll roads in Northern Ireland. Speed limits in the Republic are in kilometers per hour. The maximum speed is 120 kilometers per hour on motorways. In Northern Ireland, they use miles per hour with the maximum of 70. Six, if you are on the Wild Atlantic Way, download Google Maps or buy a hard copy map. Coverage in parts of Cork and Kerry can be sparse. Don't always trust Google Maps fully. Also be aware of travel distances and timings. Motorways are quick to get around, but once off these highways, the smaller back roads tend to be slow. We have a video of a 14 day round Ireland tour with destinations and rough timings between each destination, which may help you. That's on our playlist. If you can drive an American freeway, you can drive anywhere. Seven. Our hotels are classified three, four, and five star. Three being the basic and five the luxurious, so don't expect the three star hotels to have five star facilities. The room rate will reflect this in the cost. Some hotels are pet friendly if you have the mutt with you. Eight, Dublin is a walkable city, but it also has a good transport system of buses and trams. The tram system, the Lewis is regular and easy to use. Buy a ticket at the boarding stage or buy a leap card at any newsagent where you will find travel costs are discounted with the card compared to cash. You can use these cards on all modes of transports except taxis. If you have no card buses, only take change. Notes cannot be used. Nine, taxis by law are required to take credit or debit cards despite what the odd driver might try and tell you. Each driver has a unique license number which is displayed on the dashboard of the car. Fares will change with time of day or weekends. All taxis are metered. Make sure your meter is only switched on when you get into the cab. 10. If you're only in Dublin for a short stay, we recommend the best way to see the city is the hop on hop off buses. They travel the city stopping at each destination, leaving you to explore and another bus in half an hour to take you to the next attraction. Their routes cover all the major attractions in the city. Check them out. 11. What are our pubs like? Well, we do have over 700 in the city. We have another video highlighting some of our best pubs. Some pubs are good for traditional music, such as the oldest pub in Dublin, the Brazen Head, or O'Shea Merchants on Bridge Street, 
or O'Donohue's on Marion Row. Nightlife for many visitors centers on Temple Bar, a district famous for its diversity, but be warned it is expensive and there are better value places within a five minute walk. Dubliners themselves tend to avoid Temple Bar, but when you are there, you will meet different nationalities from all over the world. There is a certain fun to that. Pubs to eat include O'Neill's Suffolk Street, the Portobello Pub Richmond Street, Brazen Head, and O'Shea Merchants Bridge Street. If you want to meet Dubliners, have a look at our 10 best pubs in Dublin video. Finally, tip 12, what to wear on a trip to Ireland. We would suggest traveling as light as possible. Use light layers that can be put on quickly or removed quickly. In midsummer, temperatures get up to about 75 Fahrenheit or 25 centigrade, with night temperatures in July dropping to 15 centigrade or 59. Nighttime winter temperatures in January can be as low as minus 5 centigrade or 23 Fahrenheit. Daytime around 10 centigrade or 50 Fahrenheit. That's it for this video. We hope you got something from it that you wanted. We have more videos on life in Ireland today up there and in our playlist. Please share our videos and hit the like button and bell. Thank you so much. We have more videos almost weekly on life in Ireland today. Sláinte.